Hey, hey, I know you. You're the one Bell Tower is looking for. I seen your picture. You got the wrong guy. What's it worth to you for me to think so? Be a simple thing for me to yell out. Maybe a few credits keep my mouth shut, huh? How about I find some other way to keep it shut? Permanently. That... that won't be necessary. I see now that you're much taller than the man they're looking for. I thought you might see things that way. Now move it. Okay, okay, leave me alone. I won't say a word to Bell Tower. I never saw you. Back away, sir. This is none of your business. Uh, oh! Mr. Jensen, Hugh Darrow here. Please forgive this intrusion, but David assured me of your cooperation and discretion. I find myself in need of some assistance. I'm listening. A contact of mine, Meng Yao, is in Hengsha, waiting to fill you in. I'll upload her coordinates now. Let's 
hope he's as good as they say. Mr. Jensen, right? Thank you for your time. I am Meng Yao, an associate of Mr. Darrow's. I'm in charge of one of his divisions here in Hengsha. You come highly recommended. Really? Your boss described you as a most precious asset. Apparently, you are very efficient and always get the job done. We could definitely use a man like you for this operation. What operation? We need you to help us stop a group of terrorists who are threatening the Panchea project. Are you up to it? Okay, I'll help out. Excellent. Here's the situation. It has come to our attention that these terrorists possess highly classified proprietary information about Panchea. We've been able to convince them to sell it to one of our agents, a man named Lo Fei. The meeting is supposed to take place near the Alice Garden Pods in the Daigong district. And you want me to crash this meeting? Actually, there will not be a meeting. We are sending you alone to ensure Mr. Fei's safety. The terrorists will not be expecting that and will have the information with them on a data chip. You have to neutralize all of the sellers and retrieve the chip so you can bring it to me. I don't get it. If Faye set up the meeting, why risk sending me in his stead? Why doesn't he or even some of your other agents drop in on the sellers and take the chip? Because Mr. Darrow wants an absolute guarantee that there will be no casualties. We will not play by their rules. We want them arrested and questioned, then properly prosecuted and sentenced. This will require stealth and efficiency. That's why a man with your particular skills will be indispensable. Let's do this.
You must get that chip back, Mr. Jensen. I got the chip. The sellers are out cold. Excellent work. Seems Mr. Darrow was right to trust you. We will send people to take care of the terrorists. Could I see the chip? How about you tell me what's on it first? Blackmail, Mr. Jensen? Don't waste your time. I won't tell you anything. Besides, there are stones better left unturned. Might as well just give me the chip and leave it at that. All right, take it. Trust me, it's better like this anyway. You've done a great job. I thank you on Mr. Darrow's behalf. Even though this was a favor for Mr. Darrow, he believes you should be duly rewarded. Here is a payment in credits. I'm sure Mr. Darrow will wish to congratulate you himself. Expect to hear from him soon.